I'm David Glass, mayor of Petaluma, and we've been talking about wine during this segment of programs. And with us is Jim McCormick. He is the owner of the California Wine Museum, and that's an exciting project. It's a nonprofit that will be coming to downtown Santa Rosa in 2015. And Jim, it'll be a museum on the square. Tell us about it. Well, it's a museum on the square in the building named the Museum on the Square. It's the new uh, major development by Hugh Fattrell that um, it will be pretty exciting. Basically, uh, my collection of antiquities and uh, viticultural objects will be the backdrop for a much larger picture um, within the Wine Museum. It'll tell the story of the, the past, the present, and the future of the wine industry in California. Let's talk about uh, the architectural design of this. I understand it's going to be state-of-the-art. What does that mean? Well, state-of-the-art, um, you know, I'm involved with a group of uh, people that are kind of putting this together, and they have a set of uh, the people from TLCD uh, architectural firm that will be housed in the building will be working with the designer uh, on, the square, on the square footage. Uh, we've been, been donated a, a large piece of property in what I call the rat scaler of the building. We'll have a footprint on the main floor, and uh, in the downstairs, we'll have 15,000 square feet of space to display. So it's kind of interesting because um, there will be two entities involved. There'll be the museum, uh, which will be uh, hands-on, uh, interactive uh, demonstrations, major events. There'll be a theater. Um, there'll be uh, a wine library. And then there will be a separate interest attached to the uh, museum, which will be what will be the world's largest, most sophisticated, and unique tasting facility for wine. They will be pouring and dispensing in, with technological developments all varieties of wine from the entire state of California. When you say tasting, that implies also there would be food because there's probably going to be wine pairings if you're going to do this thing in the way that Sonoma County has, I suppose, come to become accustomed. Yeah. This will be a major part of it. We'll have a, a noted sommelier that will be in charge. Uh, we'll have an online presence to bring people to the museum and people will come in and there will be wine pairings by appointment uh, and on site. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll be um, a fascinating experience and we hope that people will not only come but they will come back. They'll be able to have a museum experience and a sensory experience. And um, they'll be able to learn all the nuances of wine tasting, um, sensory perception uh, by someone that is, you know, able to teach and to, to um, tell people the right questions to ask when they go out into the uh, wine world to the various wineries. Uh, we're adjacent to the transportation facility, so there will be um, transportation available for people that want to go to the Russian River, Dry Creek, Alexander Valley. It's going to be a very sophisticated operation. So it's right there in the town square in Santa Rosa, and immediately following the opening of the museum and wine tasting facility, I'm thinking that the smart train will be coming. And so someone could just hop on the smart train in downtown Petaluma, shoot on up to Santa Rosa, and enjoy a day in Santa Rosa at the wine museum. Well, we're going to be surrounded by four other museums. You're right. You're absolutely right. The wine train is coming, and there'll be four lanes of highway as opposed to with two lanes. We're looking now at uh, the wine museum coming to Santa Rosa and if folks with a sommelier and food pairings and stuff discover something that they really find intriguing and they want to make a purchase, tell us about that process. Will they be limited to what's on hand at uh, the facility or can they go outside of that? Um, that will be taken care of. There will be actually no actual purchases other than in-house but we, we will have a presence of every winery in the state that wants their name on the wall. And we will have access to all those facilities that want to be involved with the wine museum. And so we'll have a technical um, you know, uh, ability to reach the wineries. And somebody wants, likes this wine, they can order through the system that will be done online or you know, uh, interactively. Santa Rosa is unique because it's a neutral ground. Santa Rosa, the city of Santa Rosa, is not a wine area. It's rich in history in the wine industry, and it's surrounded by vineyards and wineries. That Sonoma County is on top. You know, they, they are 
considered the top producing area. And right here in the Gap area, we produce some of the finest wines in, in not only in Sonoma County, the state. The tourism is what will cause the economy to grow here going forward. Oh, and the wine industry is the recognition comes that this is where the premier wines are being cultivated, grown, and produced and some consumed but mostly shipped out and exported, uh, that's really going to drive the economies here as people come to get it uh, literally fresh off the vine. Absolutely. I mean, the wine industry is king. But we have, uh, you know, 20 million people a year coming to Sonoma County as a result of the wine industry. Uh, that's pretty huge. And uh, when you combine that with a city that's now going to have uh, five uh, major museums, uh, including one of them being a Smithsonian-rated museum, which is the Sonoma County Museum, uh, it's pretty spectacular. You know, people are going to be drawn uh, to the arts and, and to wine uh, together. The um, museum itself, it'll be a nonprofit. The tasting room that you mentioned, uh, that'll be revenue generated there. Is the idea for the revenue to be profitable in the tasting room to offset the expense of the museum? Wine tasting facility will help support uh, the museum, and so it will in some way work as in a nonprofit way. And I would imagine with a thousand wineries in the state of California and wanting to promote the tourism aspect in Sonoma County, that there are entities that will want to contribute to this and make sure that it's viable and that it does succeed. Well, there are, and there will be uh, people outside the wine industry that will want to participate. You talk big and you talk California wine, I mean, big names come to mind. Gallo, uh, Mondavi, Jackson. I imagine that some of those folks, maybe all of those folks, will be involved in this. Well, we hope so, but also uh, uh, banking facilities, uh, lending facilities, um, people that are in Sonoma County that uh, are immersed in agriculture, they're going to be wanting to be involved also. And basically, I would say that what we're striving to achieve is education educating the public about the history, the very rich history of wine, the heritage of wine, the families that uh, came to California with a vision and uh, um, you know, made this wonderful industry happen. And thank you for all the research on the interviews that we've done putting together this series through your efforts, Kay Chandler's efforts, uh, Paula Freund efforts, uh, many other people I'm sure are behind this and we just appreciate it and I've had a good time doing it. It's been educational and informative and the research has been uh, good. Have you learned anything along the way with I a few hours? I have learned so much about the richness of the history in this area that it's unbelievable and we're going to have it all at this exhibit that we're having uh, come September in at the um, Petaluma um, Library and History Museum. We're thrilled to have the Mayor Petaluma come out and, and um, you know, be here to kind of tell the tale along with uh, myself and, and all the others that have been involved with uh, the interviews, the Marcucci's, uh, um, you know, San Giacomo's, uh, Hendrix, you know, the, it's been great. Thank you, Jim. My pleasure, thank you very much, uh, Mayor Glass. Jim McCormick, he is the owner of the California Wine Museum. I'm David Glass, and we'll have more in a moment.